In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your database with WP Sweep. WP Sweep can help clean up the database, get rid of extra bloat, orphaned items that are in your database that you're no longer using, and more. Check out this great tutorial. If it really helps, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any additional questions, please leave a comment below. And also go ahead and hit that red subscribe button with the little bell next to it so you can see more great plugin videos just like this one. Thanks for watching. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Go ahead and log into your WordPress backend. I've already done this and I've gone to plugins and these are just some of the installed plugins that are here. I'm going to click add new and I'm going to search for WP Sweep. Uh, what's great is it's a free plugin, freely available to everyone to use. So it's right here, WP-Sweep allows you to clean up unused orphaned or duplicate data in your WordPress database, excuse me, it also optimizes the tables. So we're going to go ahead and click install. Uh, as always, I recommend taking a backup before installing or changing anything on your site, just as a disclaimer. Uh, click activate. So just give it a second to load. So there we are. Then on the bottom left hand side, we'll go to tools and then we'll go to sweep. So it says WP sweep is the name of the plugin. Uh, and it is, um, but under the tools, it's just called sweep. So go ahead and click sweep, and it brings us to um, the back end, which shows us everything that needs to be cleaned up. So this is our Press Avenue channel, and we're actually doing this directly on our website, pressavenue.com, uh, as a live demo. So at the top, here's the name again. Uh, just as I warned you before, before you do anything, please back up your database first, because any sweep done is irreversible. And this is true. Any Anything you do to edit the database, unless you have a backup, there's no undo button. So do make sure to backup, and maybe we'll make another video of that. If that's something you would like, please leave a comment below, and we'll jump on that if people are interested. All right, so first up, uh, for performance reasons, only 500 100 items will be shown if you click Details, and that's over here. Um, so for example, on this count here, 204. If it was 504, it would only show the first 500, so it doesn't impact your website performance as this is working. Uh, so first we'll start off with post sweep. It says there are a total of 1,274 posts and 10,392 in the post meta, and that's fine. Revisions, um, which is interesting, I have revisions turned off, but it still shows I have two revisions. Auto drafts, two. Deleted posts, three. Orphan post meta, zero. Duplicate post made at zero, O embed cache 204. Um, so revisions I actually keep and drafts. Uh, they do have at the very bottom here, you can sweep everything, but it does have a note that draft posts um, will be swept away as well. Um, so it says don't do this unless you really want to clear all this stuff. So one thing I do want to clear is this, this cache post meta. So I'll go ahead and click sweep. After doing so, it just clears it, and now it's gone. Uh, deleted posts, I will clean this up. If I click details, it'll show me I have a null, I have a blog post navigation twice. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that junk up. So what's nice is I don't have to go into the database and do this, uh, which I'll make a video on as well. Further down, comment sweep, I don't have any. I use a plugin called disabled comments. I turn them all off and I go ahead and delete them all. Um, so there are none here. Typically I've seen for client sites or sites where I've helped clean up and put sites on a diet under spammed or unapproved. There's an absolute ton. Um, so it's good to just clean this up, make your site a little leaner, especially for the new year. User sweep, um, orphan data or duplicate. I have none, but if I did, I would clean that out. Term sweep, uh, 70 terms, 47 term meta. Uh, taxonomies, relationships, etc. So if I come in here, orphan term relationship. So basically, mean the orphan, it doesn't, it's not attached to anything. For example, if you install WooCommerce, um, just to try it out, maybe create a product or two or a variation, then you decide that's not the way you want to go. You delete the plugin and you're done. You'll still have orphaned WooCommerce WooCommerce terms in your database, which you don't need. So you do need to clean that stuff up if you want to help speed things up. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this. Unused terms has a little note about what they are. If you go to details, you can see I've got some better search and replace themes, posts. That's fine. 
So I'll sweep these. Um, options, transient options. I usually always clean these up. So I'll go ahead and sweep. And then finally, database sweep, optimize the tables. So you can go to your database, select all the tables, click the drop down and go to optimize. This is actually the exact same thing. Um, so you can do it within your WordPress dashboard or you can do it here. So I'll go ahead and hit details just to show you. So it's going to optimize the following tables. It just shows the tables that I have. I'll go ahead and click sweep. So it usually takes a little bit longer and we're done. So I just put the site basically on a diet and clean things up. I do this on a fairly regular basis, about maybe once a quarter, I'll install WP Sweep, run through all of these options here, and then actually uninstall it and remove it. So I don't leave it on there lingering. I don't, if I'm not using it directly, I just get rid of it. If you have any questions about WP Sweep or how to use it or how to optimize your database, please let us know in the comments below. Additionally, if this video was helpful, please click that thumbs up. Also, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and the little bell next to it, and you'll be notified of other WordPress tutorials just like this one. Thank you again for watching.